He just disappeared on Tuesday. The door was open, Nala was laying on the patio, Simba was normally there, and he just disappeared. And I'd, I'd seen him before on the wall and thought maybe he's gone next door, so we searched here, and then five o'clock, he's always hungry didn't come for food and then sort of by six o'clock I was starting to panic everyone was looking on Tuesday night everybody was outside helping me look they were everyone's just been amazing but this morning I don't know like five o'clock this morning I, I just and I stood there and I thought can I hear him cry I thought you know I'm just gonna stop at the fire station and just see if they would just help me look we had a look and I think it was Stefan who as he went over the edge he saw like the red collar so we called red the owner was hanging off from a plant so yeah, it was obviously it was down there. And so. as soon he uh, he told the owner about the red collar, and she went, and straight away she knew it was the cat. And how did the rescue go? Well, initially he went down alone. Uh, we didn't know exactly where the cat was, so we thought he might have been a bit closer. And we got a 50 meter line. So as we started lowering him, we started realizing that he's actually the cat's further than we thought. Upon arrival, obviously there was a lot of wires, a lot of branches in the way. So you needed a bit of assistance. It's not really an easy place to work on. It's just basically a the, slope. The now. issue was that there was many, there was many trees and bushes. And so it was in a cave behind the wires. So we had to cut the wires open to get through access. And there, he was, he was very humble. Eh? He just let me pick him up and put him in the, in the cat cage, and off we go. <laughs> They just literally have been unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. The rescue mission that they did was just incredible. And so how is he now? Is he injured? Is he okay? Um, yeah, we think he's injured. He's, he's okay um, and he's crying um, and I think he's really happy to be home, but he's not putting all four legs down. So I'm just about to take him to Rosia to the vets to, I'm kind of guessing he wouldn't fall that far without having some kind of injury, but he's definitely lost a life. <laughs> For sure, and I imagine he's going to be spoilt rotten now. He's going to be spoilt rotten and he's on house arrest for the rest of his life. <laughs>